your breast cancer was discovered through a mammogram. Yes, it uh, was. One of these uh, mammograms that lots of these women would have missed their test for. Mm -hmm. um, ultimately, it saved your life, didn't it? It most certainly did. Without that mammogram, I probably wouldn't be here. Mm. Um, it, it, mine was a, a, an unusual story in that I was 48 at the time and uh, I was wanting to be a guinea pig. I was invited to be a guinea pig for trials on HRT, the mm. wonder drug that was coming over from America <laughs> at that stage. And uh, I put myself forward and they said, but you need uh, a, a, a health check before you do it. Cervical smear and a mammogram. Mm -hmm. And it was on that mammogram that my breast cancer was found. So I was under the age of screening at sure. that particular mm -hmm. moment. And I just went into disbelief about it. I just couldn't believe that can cancer, we were saying before, cancer happens to other people, not to us. Mm. You didn't have any other signs. You wouldn't have gone to your GP and said, I've felt something, I'm worried about the fact I might have cancer. Exactly. I I'm, I'm one of those people who was as fit as a fiddle, I just thought, oh, this is unnecessary mm. to have a mammogram. And I, I'm sure that a lot of other women mm. feel the same. And that's the and trouble. There it was. That's the trouble, isn't it? That mm. there will be many women in this age group who wouldn't have thought there was any reason to call up and ask, perhaps, for screening. As well, mammograms are offered every three years through the screening programme. And I think it, it's difficult to remember. If your last mammogram was three years ago, you can't always recollect exactly what date it was. So people tell us often at Breast Cancer Care that they forget when the next mammogram is due. Very little sympathy over the fact that it's taken them so many years. How was this not spotted mm. for 10 years and so many lives potentially lost? I think shocking. that's what we found most shocking, actually. Mm. Whenever you hear that something's gone on for so many years, of course, it increases the numbers of people affected. And, as you said earlier, it erodes confidence in the screening programme as well. We're led to believe there's 270 uh, people that may well have lost their lives because they didn't get this screening in time. Uh, and nothing can compensate them for the loss of a family member or their families. But I'm sure there will be people who will be looking for some sort of compensation, whatever form that takes. Uh, Emma, how do you believe it's going to be best uh, for NHS uh, England and, and Public Health England to serve those people and offer them some sort of compensation? I mean, the number one priority is information and support because people are frightened mm. and they're confused. People are already calling our helpline at Breast Cancer Care saying we don't understand them. I'm one of the ones affected. So the number one priority has to be informing and supporting and sorting out the confusion. I imagine compensation will be forthcoming. We've been um, told by Public Health England that they're going to try and assess individual risks for people who have been diagnosed with breast cancer to find out how likely it is the missed screen shorten their lives. There's 270 women who may have died because it wasn't spotted, but there will be other women right now who are receiving a diagnosis or who may have gone through extensive traumatic treatment, mm. fear, anxiety, because they didn't get offered this screening. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's infuriating for, for anybody who's not involved. It's absolutely devastating for somebody who might have it been. Is. I, I must say that um, if uh, you get to a certain age, I mean, I'm you know my late 70s now, um, but those women coming up 68, 69 and into the 71, I would query if I hadn't been called again. I mean, I just wonder whether there are women who did call their GP. Yes, I mean, one of the really awful things about missing the very final routine invitation is that women over 70 can come back for three-yearly mammogram, but they have to self-refer. Mm. And they're told that at the final screening appointment. So if you miss that screening appointment, these women may not have been informed that they could continue having their mammogram. The, the other thing is that uh, a lot of ladies that I talk to rather assume, oh, I've got to 70, I've mm. passed all that. Now, yeah. But of course, you know and I know that the figures are enormous. Can you understand still, I mean, it, it just is baffling how this mistake firstly happened mm. and secondly happened for so many years mm. and has affected so many, people. so many people. And I'm not sure that it's acceptable that we're... Uh, an apology is, of course, absolutely right and necessary, but just to say, well, it's a computer glitch, we've put it right now, yes. just doesn't seem adequate, no. especially if you've lost somebody. Mm. Oh, it's so distressing. Through, and you've been through that distress. For yes. people to be listening to this this morning, a, um, a husband who's lost his yes. wife or children who've mm. lost their mother, it must be so distressing. Mm.
Well, I mean, you know, should should somebody lose their job over this? Should what what needs to happen I mean, to I, put that confidence in the system? Absolutely, I don't know the level of detail, but it was related to an IT upgrade that found the problem. So. Arguably, if that upgrade hadn't occurred, the problem may have gone on even longer. I find it extraordinary um, that nobody in the screening program so much slip through noticed mm. 450,000 mm. women had not gone yes. mm. over so their... many years. Yeah, I think what's important to say for, for your viewers' reassurance is this, that people who are affected are going to get letters, but also people who are affected will be invited to or offer the chance to have what Public Health England are calling catch-up screen, mm. so to replace the. Um, mammogram and that will be made available to